Hi everybody, I've got some Valentine's picks for you. So these are fragrances that would make fabulous Valentine's gifts for your loved ones, but also great um, Valentine's Day fragrances to wear on Valentine's Day. There's girly stuff, there's boysy stuff and in between. There's reasonably priced stuff, cheap stuff and mid-range. So I haven't gone high end and the reason being I think if your other half is really into fragrances or likes really expensive fragrances then the best thing to do is buy them what they love and don't listen to me because that don't make sense does it but if you're a little bit stuck as to um, you want to buy fragrance but you're not quite sure what then keep on watching so I'm going to start with let's go with something for the boys so the boys can wear this on Valentine's Day or they can be bought it by you their partner so um, this one is uh, quite cheap and it's marketed to men but actually it's quite unisex I wear this one and I love it so you know you don't have to buy it for a guy as long as um, your female won't find it upsetting that you've bought her a fragrance marketed towards man then this one is a lovely sort of a suede rosy there's benzoin and incense and vanilla it's beautiful it lasts really well that's the eau de toilette and you can pick it up for around about 15 to 20 pounds uk pounds and the bottle is stunning so i think that is a lovely lovely gift very romantic smelling fragrance so you can wear it you can buy it you can even buy it to share so you can both wear it that's just beautiful isn't it van cleef and arpels that is midnight in paris okay so let's stick with that's probably the cheapest one um this one is called ferrari bright neroli i've only got the decant very lovely rich where did i spray it uh one of these i've already sprayed it if i can pick the thing up that's it it's a really lovely fresh and clean bright neroli orange fragrance and it's kind of rounded and smooth and it lasts really really well for the kind of fragrance it is you get a whole day wearing this again is unisex i would um, get it for a girl or a guy probably not mega feminine so if the girl is really into florals and sweet fragrances maybe this isn't for her if I picture this on um, a guy quite a um, sensible guy that uh, wants a good fragrance to wear every day to work this one is perfect if um, you know if wearing a shirt it's really lovely and clean and inoffensive so um, I love it I love it we're wearing it to work but um, that would make a really nice present you can get it at a reasonable price online if you're lucky about 30 pounds for the bottle a big bottle bottles really cool I really like the bottle and that's a great gift for Valentine's also a nice one to wear not necessarily an obvious choice for uh, a date or going out fragrance but actually because it's so fresh and clean, it's a perfect close quarters fragrance, if you know what I mean. Uh, next up, we'll go slightly upper end, still designer. And this one is marketed towards men. And it's called Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This one's quite sweet. So um, it's for the person that enjoys a sweet fragrance. I can smell patchouli in there, but it's not too overwhelming. And it's just sweet and soft. I think there's a note of pistachio or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's sweet. It's like, um, you know though, if you can smell those roasted nuts, so roast them at Christmas. A little bit like that, almost like a, a slightly sugared candy floss nut, almost, but not quite. Um, it's just soft, sweet, seductive, could be worn again by a man or a woman, but would make a great gift for the guy in your life for Valentine's. Also, it could definitely be a good seductive scent for Valentine's date. 
a really nice one, Noir Extreme from Tom Ford, from their signature line, not their private blend, so it's not mega pricey, but it's still uh, the higher end of designer. Okay, so, moving on. Um, I picked a couple of different ones um, I've not mentioned before. So, don't laugh, snobs out there. This is a Zara Wanted. I wanted to not like this because... I mean, it's t that's a bit tacky, but I actually quite enjoy it. I've put it there, and it's kind of fresh, it's kind of sweet. It starts off quite fresh, there's a note of lemon, and then it, it gets sweeter. I feel like there's a candy floss note for a short while, but then it gets deeper and, and a little bit more darker and, uh, and exciting. So we've got lemon, cardamom, and vetiver in the notes. This is a good one for the younger chaps. I don't think I would buy it for a woman. It's definitely marketed for men. I think the uh, that tacky bottle that comes in that looks like, a, I think it's a barrel of a gun um, or um, a hand grenade or something. It's definitely a, a you know, a weapon. And um, it's actually quite pleasant to smell. So I would get this for someone maybe 22, 23 years and under who won't find that tacky they'll probably find that a novelty but in a good way but the way it smells is actually quite good this would be a very good pub fragrance club fragrance date fragrance maybe not so much for work but definitely um, a playtime fun fragrance for a younger chap so that would be quite nice and you could definitely wear that on date night um, on valentine's day so another one for you um, this is Ghislaine L'Homme Idylle Eau de Parfum. So again, this is not cheap, but it is kind of mid to slightly higher end in the price department. I've got it here, and it, I have to say it smells really nice. It smells really good on me, and I'm not just saying that, it's true. It's sweet and cosy. There is a note of leather, which I notice more on paper than I do on my own skin. It's leathery, it's more masculine on paper. On my skin it's coming off really sweet and cosy and kind of sexy and almost feminine, but maybe it's just the way it's reacting to my skin. On paper there's a bit more um, vetiver and um, sort of woodsiness as well as the leather, but definitely got sweet notes as well. I picture this one for a slightly older guy, so I'd say 25, probably more like 30 and up. Uh, could be worn to the office in moderation, a perfect cosy date night scent, going in, staying out, um, really, really one of those that you just want to keep on nuzzling and, and sniffing because it smells so good. So Golaine, Golaine L'Homme Idylle I think is a really nice one to either wear or buy for Valentine's. Okay, so I'm going to go niche now, but um, just one house. And the reason I picked this house is A, because I love it, and B, because sometimes you're trying to pick a fragrance with someone, it's too hard, and the best thing to do then is why not get them for small fragrances from one house so um, you get the chance to try them all and then maybe you could pick them and buy them a big bottle of one they love the most. So that's what you can do with the house of 4,160 Tuesdays. It's got a commitment faux package and it's four small bottles of um, any of their range of fragrances and it's quite, um, quite nicely priced and that way you're bound to get one of them, right, aren't you? Anyway, my favourites from the house are Rome 1963, which I have there, and I absolutely love it. It's tobacco and white flowers, and oh, chocolate and tuberose as well. But it's not massively overtly floral and feminine. Could be worn definitely by either sex. Gorgeous, sexy fragrance to wear for uh, any date, particularly Valentine's, and what a lovely gift to receive. Uh, also from the house, the sexiest scent on the planet. This is a people pleaser. I don't think you can go wrong as long as the person really enjoys a sweet, sweet woody fragrance. Uh, quite simplistic but beautiful and it really lasts really well on the skin. Gives a little bit of freshness when you first wear it. 
and then it just just wears down to this beautiful woody sweet vanillic um, but not overtly sweet or cloying. Also we've got one of my favourites Sleep Knot and this is uh, Jasmine Fragrance. Where can I spray it? Oh, I love this one. This is very much a feminine fragrance. Um, obviously, if you're a guy that likes florals, um, in particular jasmine, you may well like this too, but it does lean feminine, in my opinion, because it's quite floral. Um, the jasmine is quite strong, but it's also got this sweet and woody. It's almost like the sexiest scent is in there, that's a possibility. Maybe there's a bit of sexier scent as an accord. It's beautiful. It's really fresh. Perfect date night fragrance, Valentine's night, or um, a beautiful gift, definitely, because it just smells so amazing. Um, also, from that house, you can get fragrances in these sizes. A nine mil. I've got a sexy scent on the planet extract version because I love it that much. And what a great, if you're not quite sure what to get and you didn't want to do the Commitment Fave, which is slightly bigger bottles, you could do these nine mils and just pick one, two, three, whatever, you know, is in your budget. And um, you can have anything you want from the range in these bottles. And they're still spray, so um, they're not the dabber bottles, which can be a little bit inconvenient sometimes. So that's um, 4,160 Tuesdays. And finally, one more. I've got it, yeah. I've got it here, this is a new release. And it's my pick for um, mid-range. I've got the sample there. Mid-range, uh, about 30 something pounds, 32 pounds for the smaller bottle. I think that's 50 mil. And, um, I think it would suit a chap maybe 30 to 35 and under. A very versatile fragrance, a Jupe Wow. It's got a good fragrance journey and that's why I'm impressed with it because when you first spray it, it smells a little bit like Fahrenheit. That's not a bad thing, is it? But then Fahrenheit sort of subsides and it gets a little tiny bit cedar, you get a cedar note and like a clean musk and eventually it slides into this vetiver just a tiny tiny touch of vetiver and woods and musk and it's just a slightly masculine very clean very smooth gentle fragrance that lasts all day long i think it's quite impressive i wore it today just on this arm and I really enjoyed the fact that it changed so much. I would say there's kind of three main stages. And then you are left with basically ISOE Super. I think that's kind of it, but I like ISOE Super. If you like Molecule 01, it's like that, but slightly softer. And as I say, there's this slight tinge of vetiver, clean vetiver that hangs in there for quite a while and then eventually subsides leaving you with just this cedar like woodsy musky thing that is ISOE Super. I like it. So um, don't be put off because it's from Jupe. I think it would make a great present, but don't get it for a snob. Don't get it for someone who's gonna turn their nose up at the name Jupe. If um, the person you're intending it for is very much into designer labels or high end, just don't do it. But if the person you're buying it for is open-minded, just wants to smell good and have a good quality fragrance, that is totally versatile because you can wear that on a date, you can wear it out clubbing, you can wear it to work every day, anywhere you want, and it's gonna do the job for you. So I think that's pretty damn good. Anyway, that's it, that's my Valentine's picks. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, then give me a thumbs down. Um, unsubscribe and uh, tell all your friends to troll me. Anyway, see y'all later.